Hello, I'm M.K. Davis. I've been studying the famous Patterson uh, Sasquatch film, the film that was taken in Northern California in 1967, for about 14 years. Uh, in, in the course of my studies, you know, you become intimately acquainted with the film and all the small nuances that, that, uh, that are in the film. And they pass by quickly, but you do frame by frames. And when you do a frame by frame, you come across uh, certain things that uh, make you wonder, you know, what was going on there in the film. Uh, you know, uh, the general consensus is that this is a continuous piece of film uh, shot, you know, steadily from beginning to the end. But that th this uh, is not true at all. Uh, if you study the film frame by frame, you see that there are distinct uh, scene changes in the film. Now, when you have a scene change in a movie or cinema, there's no way to tell how much time in, uh, inter, uh, intervened, you know, between the scenes. Uh, it, it's, it's, uh, you only have the camera person's word for it. There's no way to tell. So uh, the most important thing is to determine, you know, is there a scene change? Is this truly what we see? And that, that's what I wanted to discuss today. I wanted to, to try to show you what uh, I have found on the film that, that appears to be a scene change. I've been privy to a very good copy of the film and been able to, to take it, study it frame by frame, uh, scan it, photograph it uh, and, uh, in great detail. So uh, I'll show you what I got here. Let me go to my imaging program. Now this is a, a scan of several of the frames there in a row. This is a continuous strip right here. It's nothing's been laced together or anything like that. Uh, so, if you'll see that this is the first, I call the first walk sequence. And if you'll follow my cursor, let's see if I am getting this. Uh, let me just kind of move the camera over a little bit. Make sure that I'm on it. If you follow my cursor right there, you see that the subject there is off in the distance. And you can see the tree line and everything's far away. And these are trees. And that's a large limb laying over, and this is a, a broken off tree. Okay, then it's a blur, and then you see a totally different scene right here. Completely different. The camera person is behind this big limb in the foreground. Uh, Patty is actually hidden by this. She's off in the distance uh, behind here. If you go down a few more frames, you'll see her emerge on this side far away in the distance. Uh, so it, it's a totally different scene. The angle of the camera in relationship to the ground changes. In this one, the camera is below the ground level, down under a, an embankment. This is the ground level right here. In this scene right here, the camera person is above the ground level, shooting down on the ground. So uh, it, it's totally different. So uh, that begs the question, you know, uh, if there are completely different scenes in the film, how much time intervened or interluded between the two scenes? Uh, don't know. Don't know. But the next question is, is this, what, is what we were seeing, the event that we were seeing in the first walk sequence, is it carried over to the second walk sequence in the same way? Is this the same scene? Is it the same person? Is it the same subject? Is, the, is this the same Sasquatch in the second scene as it is in the first scene as seen here uh, that's a very good question so what, what I uh, did was to go to the first walk sequence and let me show you here and here I have uh, some close-ups this is from the first walk sequence and there you see the, the Patterson subject right there kind of off in the distance the cameras pointed up at her from below ground level from behind this embankment so you're looking up at her from this angle right here okay now let's just take a look now let me yeah we're on it good now this is a good one right here let me just uh, introduce this to my imaging program transfer it over there we go okay that's from scene number one now, scene number two, let's go to the film itself. And I've got it set up to run here. Uh, let's see. 
And let's find us a, a really good frame. Let's see, start right here. Oh, let's back it up. Now, that looks like a pretty good frame right there. Let's just take this right here and do a screen capture. And we'll uh, move that over to my imaging program. Now, we'll blow it up a little bit. We'll just kind of frame it out nicely where we can put them side by side. Okay. Now let me just boost the contrast on this just a little bit. I just uh, let me put a lasso around it where I don't have to do the whole image. Now, let's see, let's reduce some of the pixelization by going to a Gaussian blur. There we go. Now let's just uh, merge that and let's compare the two. Now, what what do you see here? Let me let me move it over. I missed some of that, didn't I? Okay, now what what do you see here? What are you looking at? Now this one right here is from the first walk sequence. Okay? Now you'll notice her, she's broad across the shoulders. Uh it looks like she's got a layer of buttery fat all over. Uh, we see wrinkles there under the skin. Uh, uh, the, the butt is not tight at all. It's big. Uh, and this one right here, you see a well-defined back muscles. And actually, this subject is farther away, much farther away than this subject was from the camera. And yet, the back is, is just much more defined. In other words, it almost, in, order, in order to be that well-defined, they had to be pronounced. They had to be bulging or, or large defined muscles. Uh, something like an individual, they were, they use a cut person. Uh, this is uh, a, cut, a very cut looking individual. Uh, the rear end is just tight. Uh, the legs are thin. Uh, the shoulders are broad. See? Uh, is this, there's a scene change, and we showed you the scene change between this one and this one. And then you see this particular individual and this one and uh, this type of physique in the second one. Uh, now, now, what is that telling us? Um, you be the judge. Um, it's, it's, to me, the way it affects me, the, what I see in it, is that there's a possibility here that this Sasquatch is not this Sasquatch, and vice versa. Uh, judge for yourself, though. Look at the physiques. They came off First walk sequence, second walk sequence, same strip of film, but a distinct scene change. Let me remind you of it again. Here's the scene change. First walk sequence right here. Second walk sequence, the last two frames. Looking up at Patty. See the angle right here, looking up at her. And then down here, you're ab above the level of the ground, shooting straight at her or down on her. Uh, she would be right in this area right here behind this limb. Uh, so, um, this is one of those things where a person, the viewer, has to make up their own mind. You know, you, you put these things out there because um, they're, uh, they're relevant questions uh, and they need answering. I thank you for your time.